Hello everyone, I'm Akif Patin, Fund Manager of ABFX Fund Management Services. You are co-heartedly welcome to watch ABFX Trading Corp's weekly forex market outlook for 31st week of 2017, which is from 31st July to 4th of August. Each and every week, we post our weekly market outlook in our YouTube channel, so stay connected with us through YouTube and share our videos. You can stay connected with us through these links. You may find these links in our Facebook page also, so let's move on. Here's the chart for USDJPY. Well, we have seen earlier that our previous expectation was that it will actually fall from this level up to 110.3 and it actually touched that level by the way. So right now there are two types of scenario. Number one, our initial uh, expectation is that it will actually rise a bit and then fall up to 109.6 level. Uh, it's a good you know, demand zone by the way. Uh, as US dollar gets more weak, if US dollar gets more weak, so uh, the blue line may follow, the price may follow this blue line. If not, if JPY gets uh, weaker than US dollar, then what will happen? It will actually maintain our, you know, this uh, red line, which is our alternate scenario for the upcoming week. So let's see what happens. There's a chart for USD CAD. Well, if US dollar gets more weak, it will actually follow this blue line over here it will actually rise a bit up to 1.2535 level and then fall up to 1.2385 level that actually we're expecting if not that we, it will actually follow our previous expectation and it will actually rise up to 1.3 levels so let's see what happens for usd cat uh, but you know if it goes by our confirmed buy signal will trigger if it breaks this trend line so we have to wait for it uh, up, uh, until then, our expectation for USD CAD is that it will actually fall uh, more low. So let's see what happens. Let's have a look to Euro GBP chart. Well, it's actually right now maintaining a good trend line, by the way. And uh, if uh, the price breaks this trend line, so there is a possibility that US, Euro GBP will actually move up, up to 0 0.91 level. But after that, uh, we are expecting a great fall. With but initially, our expectation is that this blue line is actually it, it, it's going to fall up to this level initially, and then if it breaks this trend line, then it will actually move uh, more low up to 0.848 level. So let's see what happens for Euro GBP. Let's have a look to GBP odd. Well, uh, our expectation was that it uh, this is a good you know uh, demand zone. So we are expecting some demand for GBP odd, and it's actually break uh, this tr uh, trend line. So our expectation is that it will actually move uh, more, you know, higher level, which is we are expecting that it will actually touch uh, 1.69 level uh, initially. Uh, if not, our uh, as actually in the previous week, it actually uh, didn't follow our this red, uh, you know, line. So our expectation is that uh, it will actually follow this blue line for this week also so we are expecting a bull for gbp odd up to 1.69 level so let's see what happens so that's all for now thank you all for watching please like and share our videos hope we will stay connected till then goodbye